Hey guys, this is Manag and we have a 1500 square feet plan here which we have drawn. The unit of this is in meet mm and we'll just quickly show you the unit and dimension settings and after that we'll do the column position of this and hopefully we'll do the elevation and section for this plan also. So let's get started. So basically you can see this is a 1500 square feet plan and uh, uh, we'll just show you the unit. You just press U and enter and then you can see uh, the unit has been done in uh, mm since it's an mm already pretty precise unit. So uh, the dimension has been uh, given as uh, zero sorry precision has been given as zero as we don't want any points after mm and in annotate and in text size we have created three types of text you can see you click here t100 150 and uh, height and tt uh, 150 225 height and t200 of 300 height so we are we have kept t100 as set current and uh, the, all the headings uh, like this particular heading we have kept as t150 same thing we have done with the dimension okay i'll just show you the dimension also of d100 just to uh, make uh, sure primary units decimal zero you can see text t100 is selected here zeros uh, arrow size overall the arrow size it's taken as 150 and line taken by layer and uh, offset from origin 50 okay so we have taken this like this we have done d50 and d200 only in the d, d uh, the text size increases in this and the arrow size remains the same so like this we have done and we have set current uh, our, our d100 okay same thing we have done done for the leaders okay leader also three types of leaders we have just created let me show you one of them uh this you can see t100 is there and in leader format the arrowhead is 150 and in content also you can see this is there so like this leader also you've created three types and then we have gone forward and made the line here so the next step for after making the plan is the column positions so let's uh, go forward and uh, deal with the column positions here so this is basically a ground floor plan but uh, the, uh, we are expected to have a ultimate aim of g plus 2 so we will give a column size of 350 okay uh, just to make sure that uh, purpose exists so we can do it in a separate layer as well i'll go to layer properties and uh, i'll create a new layer for the columns here so it's just uh, taking some time my system okay so layer property is open and uh, here i just column and i'll give this give this in black no problem in that okay so i'll just take the column layer here and right click and then i'll just click at the rate 350 comma 350 so this is the column i'll hatch it and pick internal point not pattern and just use solid by layer okay escape select this b enter and uh, column and just and we'll move it okay so it we'll place the column where we want obviously in this particular level i think we want in this along with this direction okay so we'll take this and take this as the reference and in this i'll just let me place it here and then we'll move it okay select one and right click and select similar since there are only these three these three will get selected and in here uh, we want it you can have it along uh, this side as well inside i think that will be better so we'll copy uh, take this as our option and okay, paste it here door we have to adjust a little bit the door uh, no problem in that i suppose okay so if you just do here uh, this is okay let me just uh okay let's like this extend and ex enter extended and now let's draw this i think the width is 750 offset of uh, uh let's give 150 and give some 150 space if you want to go directly also you can do 150 space i want to or 125 space i want to give just one brick space 
offset of 125 uh, from here line and then I want to give Q offset of uh, 750 this is the door D2 okay, just, uh, let me just check the offset here for D2 D2 is 750 right I was right so offset 750 why is it not showing just uh, okay I think it is in column layer so I should do this in column layer let me try again offset uh, 750 okay it is showing but it is here uh, it is covered by the door sorry delete everything and draw a fresh one offset 750 Okay, trim this TR, TR enter, and then these both of them, you just move it together. You now, once you place the column, you have to adjust the things a bit, no problem in that. Okay, so one layer of column here, three columns here, and uh, this is now another layer of columns can be here uh, after the bedroom okay. I think it can be here window we can move the window a little bit and door also we can move the door a little bit here ok 125 I want to go and then after that I want to go D1 is I think 3000 uh, 1000 sorry 1000 select this EX enter Select this and select this, move. It will go here, but let me just trim this area first. Okay, this is good. One more row of things go here, and uh, obviously, this will also act for the staircase as well. So, we we'll go here, obviously. Just move it in this side. Okay, let's move it a little bit up to make this visible. Yes. Now I think okay, obviously this column can be there. We have to decide what to do for this later. For now, just copy these two first. So this pan is quite large for uh, 8.125 for residential building uh, this pen is there yes this is possible we can hmm, you know uh, possibly give uh, you know a, you know beam here but for residential building uh, I don't want to give that depth for the beams so I'll include another column 
just for this particular span include another column uh, maybe just 125 away from the door or you know I don't want to uh, avoid the block uh, path you know upward path a little a lot so we can have it here if you have it here then it will not come in the way of the staircase path okay or else yes or else we can just okay let's do this okay let's just place it here just the place where this ends okay as far as possible you can just do this like this the entrance was at a particular side this side then you could do this as well okay okay what we can do in this case like if we move the entrance little bit this side then we can place it like if you have make the entrance a single uh, you know uh, you know, so this is a double lip door. If you make a single lip door and you move it a little bit this side, suppose if the just keeping the same alignment also, like the door, like this. If they, this is the same alignment, then, then the column can be here, like the door. And if you want double story door, then we have to make this a particular type of arrangement. So, this is it. Uh, we will uh, move forward and draw the elevations in the next video. For this video, this is up to it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.